Hey, Kate, guess what I am? Is it something that begins with couch and ends with potato? <laughs> Cheap shot, Kate Mandu. <laughs> I'm a type T personality. Okay, Alf, what is a type T personality? Well, according to this article, a type T is a thrill seeker. Someone who looks for danger, who laughs in the face of death. Ha, ha, ha. This from the same person who watched the movie Aliens from Under the Couch? Hey, I thought I owed one of those guys money. Am I type T? Well, let's find out. What do you say we jump off the roof? You land feet first, you're a wimp. I can get the ladder. No one is jumping off the roof. Hey, Kate. Let me know when you'll let your son act like a man. <laughs> ah! Paper cut! Paper cut! How was work today, honey? What are you doing in my bed? Your bed? It happens to be half Kate's. Did Kate say you could lie there? Does that sound like something Kate would say? Get out of my bed. Now that sounds like Kate. Alf, did you take my pillow? Yeah, it's under my tushy. Keep it. Don't go! I'm depressed, and Willie's kicking me out of bed. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were depressed. What's wrong? I was looking through my photos, seeing all the adventures I used to have. Mm. Here, that's me climbing Mount Floppy on the planet Griphard. Climbing? That mountain looks flat. It is flat. It's the planet that's tilted. <laughs> the planet is tilted. That's amazing. I try playing golf there sometime. You're lucky if you shoot in the low 600s. What are you doing in this barrel? Oh, there I was getting ready to go up Widowmaker Falls. You went up a waterfall? Yeah. And the ride was so rough, I almost threw down. <laughs> you really did have an exciting life. Did is the operative word. Those days are over, ma chérie. Well, you had a pretty exciting day yesterday. How do you figure that? You built that big bonfire in our backyard. And you got to see the fire engines again. Well, that gets old. Right, Willie? No, I get a lump in my throat every single time. Look who I'm talking to about excitement. Now, look here, I'm not going to be put down by some guy who climbed a flat mountain. Uh, I know my life may appear a bit routine at times, but I've had my share of adventure. I've lived on the edge. That's right. When I was born, Mom and Dad lived on the edge of Bakersfield. <laughs> now, you listen to me, young lady. There's plenty about me that you, uh, you don't know. Like what? Well, nothing you really have to know about right now. Does it have anything to do with you wearing Kate's red pumps? No. <laughs> Why would you... Why would you say something like that? I'm an instigator. <laughs> Dad, tell us what you did. No. Oh, please, I really want to know. Well, uh... When I was 17, I hopped a freight train. I took it right straight across the whole country. You're kidding. <laughs> What'd you do for money? I did odd jobs. I, uh... 
I, I washed dishes. I, I played the piano in a honky-tonk place in Texas. <laughs> Does Mom know about all this? Oh, yeah, sure, but she doesn't want me to talk about it, though. She doesn't want you and Brian getting any ideas. How come? Well, uh, she doesn't want them hopping trains. How come? Well, that's not something you want your children to do. How come? I don't know. It's just Kate laying down these arbitrary rules. Well, that's Kate for you. Hey, Willie, is this the kind of train you used to hop? Well, the others were bigger, of course, and they didn't run around in circles, but... Uh... Basically, yeah. How'd you do it? Well, here's what I'd do, you see. I'd case the yard. I I'd hide in the bush. I'd wait until dark. And when I saw my train was pulling out, I'd just go and make a run for it. Whoa. Well, did it ever get so dark you jumped on the wrong thing? Like a bus or a parade? <laughs> I ask sensible questions, Alf. OK. Which one is the kitchen car? <laughs> there wasn't any kitchen car. Yes, I sat in the boxcar. I ate beans out of a can. That's how I got my traveling name. Beanhead? <laughs> boxcar Willie. Whoa, what a cool name. Hey, can I have your autograph? No. Come on, come well, on. I guess. Billy, are you sure you don't want to go to my mother's with us? Yeah, I'm positive. If Dad doesn't have to go, why do I? Because you're my son and I can tell you what to do. Well, there you have it. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's uh, my autograph. Uh, Alf wanted it. It's for a friend. <laughs> well, we'll be back in a couple of hours. Now, don't get into any trouble. Don't worry about Willie. I'll keep an eye on him. I was talking to you. I know. I was being playful. <laughs> Now's our chance. Let's go down to the train yard. No, we're not hopping any train. I'm not talking about riding the rails. I just want to see them. Please, Willie, please! <laughs> no, we can't, really, Alf, we can't. All right? Tell me when this gets annoying. Yeah, yeah, you hop the freight train, sure. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I almost believe that. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, look at Mr. Excitement. Forget it, Alf, it's not working. Okay, I'll try something else. Willie, please take me to see the trains. I haven't had an adventure in a long time. All right? Maybe this will work. Willie, I'm dying. <coughs> I've only got 24 hours to live. 25 tops. OK, come on. You bought that? I bought the second thing you said. Oh, well, what was it? I might want to use it again sometime. Come on. Please, sweater. OK. Boy, there's nothing like a train yard at night. Yeah, it is peaceful. Whoa! What's that thing? That's the train. It makes the one you have look like a toy. Hey, who's out there? Uh oh, that's the guard. You mean that guy with the seeing eye dog? <laughs> Big deal. No, that's no seeing eye dog. That's a Doberman pincher. <laughs> hey, get away from that train! Elf, jump! <laughs> run, folks, car, run! <laughs> All aboard! Hey, I always wanted to say that. Well, you got your wish. And you got yours, too. We're riding the rails, Willie. Ain't it grand? No, it ain't. Now the train's going too fast. We can't get off. You're acting like this is all my fault. Well, isn't it? I was hoping we could share. <laughs> Who 
do you think's on Letterman tonight? <laughs> Probably Terry Gar. <laughs> maybe hopping the train was a bad idea. Maybe, maybe, whatever possessed you to do such a thing? I couldn't help myself. You made riding the rails sound so exciting. Well, as uh, so long as we're here, we might as well enjoy ourselves, eh? Yeah, that's the spirit. Come on, let's crack open a can of beans. What beans? We've got no beans. This trip was totally misrepresented. <laughs> look, let's just look out the door and, and, and watch the world go by. It's dark out. Let's just stare at the darkness. <laughs> stare at the darkness? What are you, a beatnik? <laughs> Listen, this was your idea to ride the rails. Don't you think the least you could do is to try to make the most of it? All right, all right. I'll stare. <laughs> Litchfield, flat car, is that you? Willie, Willie, it's a hobo. Hide me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. We're not Litchfield and Flat Car. Don't be sorry. They got no teeth. <laughs> Where's your buddy? Oh, he's there, just just there behind the crates. He's he's shy. He's terribly shy around strangers. Strangers. Hey, I'm no stranger. You're the stranger. I know everybody who rides the Rock Island line. Mighty good line. What? <laughs> Never mind. Nothing. I, no, no. You're a funny guy. Oh. <laughs> Gravel Gus. Oh, Willie Tanner, how, how do you do? Uh, say, Gravel Gus, I guess you got your name because of your voice there, right? Eh? No. It's because the first six times I tried to hop a freight, I landed face down in the gravel. <laughs> oh. Could be worse. Ask cesspool Steve. Oh, double ooh. Hey, you guys want some beans? I do, I do! Ah, oh, loose kangaroo! <laughs> hey, is he all right? Well, he fell face down in a pile of gravel. Well, this is a fine how do you do. No matter what happens, I get no beans. You know, I'm really getting tired of you whining. I'm getting tired of whining, so there. I guess I won't mention how cold it is. Thank you. Is it okay if I put my foot under your armpit? No, it's not. Aren't you cold? Yes, I am. Wouldn't you like to wrap your armpit around my nice, warm foot? <laughs> Look, Alf, if we don't think about the cold, it's not going to be so bad. Fine. Live in a fantasy world. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ooh! Willie! I bumped my head! Oh, here, let me see. Oh, you're hurting me! <laughs> Do you know, for someone who's traveled all the way across this universe and had all kinds of adventure and climbed a flat mountain, you are an incredible baby. <laughs> I never climbed Mount Floppy. What are you talking about? I saw you in the picture. It was taken at a carnival. I stuck my head through a cardboard cutout. It cost me a Wernick. A Wernick? Yeah, that's $10 on Melmac. Well, what about, what about that picture you in that barrel? I paid a matter for it. What's the matter? Well, for one thing, I got this bump on my head. <laughs> Huh? This was back when you were dating Rhonda. Yeah, but there was no such thing as dating on Melmac. If you liked the girl, you took her to dinner and a movie. Just sounds remarkably like dating. <laughs> we called it taking a girl to dinner and a movie. Well, just like there were no telephones. They were called those plastic things on the counter that ring. <laughs> Of course, of course, just as plain as this breathing apparatus on my face. That's your nose, Willie. 
Why must you needlessly complicate everything? <laughs> Please continue. <clears throat> well, I just started going out with Rhonda when my planet blew up. Unlucky in love, unlucky in Armageddon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alf. Hey, at least I don't worry anymore. When my planet blew up, I realized one thing. You have to live every moment to the fullest. Well, look, Willie. That's where Melmac used to be. Where? That spot up there where it looks like there should be a planet. <laughs> oh, look, Elvis, a shooting star. Make a wish. OK. Well, what did you wish? I wish I had my planet back. Uh oh. Ow. Well, cheer up, Alf, because at least you know your friends are still out there. Maybe maybe you'll meet up someday. Maybe, maybe you and Ryan will get together. Maybe you get married. Yeah. Hey, I'm still young. If I'm not married by the time I hit the big 4-0-0, then I'll panic. I guess you always knew you were going to get married and settle down, huh? Well, actually, uh, I didn't really ever think I really would. No luck with the babes? No, I had babes. I mean, I had girlfriends. I just, uh, I didn't think I, I wanted to do the things my father did. What was he like? Well, you know, he was married, two kids, live in the suburbs. Wow. And you're his son. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willie. Go on. I just, uh, I wanted my life to be more exciting than his was. That's all. That's why I started, that's why I started riding the rails. So what happened? Well, I met a girl in Colorado. And we were working in this restaurant. She, she was saving her money to go to California. She wanted to be an actress. And I don't know, we started going out together. And before I knew it, I, I, I fell in love. Well, I never knew Kate wanted to be an actress. No, it wasn't Kate. It was Linda Evans. <laughs> That's the truth. Really? You dated her? <laughs> well, way to go, Willie. <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, I don't know. She set out to find the footlights. I set out to find the sky. <laughs> well, you married the right girl. Linda's much too busy. She'd never be home in time to tuck me in. Well, I'm so glad you approved. <laughs> Kate's made me a very happy man, you know. Yeah. But you better face it, Willie. You did follow in your father's footsteps. Yeah, but I found out there's a lot of adventure out there in the suburbs. There is. Uh, buying our house, having our first Christmas, seeing Lynn come out of the delivery room, hearing Brian say, Dad, you know. Hey, hey, what about that pesky alien crashing through your roof? That's certainly been an adventure. Yeah, for me, too. Willie? Do you ever wish I hadn't crashed through your roof? Never. Thanks. Dad. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah! <laughs>